What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will continue building our city by adding streets and roads. With that said, it's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is import our road model. In this buildings pack we don't have any streets or you know roads. So we need to import our own custom model. In my case, I am going to link this road model in the description. It's simply an FBX from Sketchfab. It's completely free. So literally just drag the folder. And as you can see, we have a static mesh, which is just pretty much a plane and then some textures. So the thing that we need to do is create a material to add the textures into the static mesh because Unreal didn't do it, you know, automatically. So let's right click, go and create a new material, and this will be M underscore road. And let's go ahead and open up this road material. And actually, let's go ahead and just place it over here. And what we can simply do is open up the textures folder and start to drag them. So the first texture will be the base color. So we can simply drag the RGB into the base color. Okay, that's essentially the texture itself. Then we have the metalness, which as you guessed, will go into metallic. Then we have the normal, which will add like bumps. So let's plug this into the normal. And finally, we have the roughness. So let's go ahead and plug this into the roughness. And now, yes, we can simply apply, save, and close. And now if I drag the road, nothing happens. Why? Well, we still need to go ahead and apply this material to the static mesh. So let's double click to open up the static mesh. And on the first material slot, let's search for road and select this one and boom, we have our road. Let's save and close and boom, we have it over here. So let's go ahead and start to place this road in our level. It's going to be very straightforward. So let's select this roof that we added, you know, on the previous episode and just delete it because now, of course, we're going to have a proper road. And as you can see, to have a reference, when I press play, this is the size of the player right so pretty much is going to be similar to this little capsule so have this in mind when building the city because these buildings are very very big as you can see so let's go ahead and drag the static mesh and start to place it in a position that we like in this case as you can see the pivot is pretty off so a quick thing that we can do to you know solve this issue and put it on the center so it's going to be easier to move around is go up here into the selection mode and change this to the modeling mode. Now select the road, go into X deform and then edit pivot and click on center, accept and go back to the selection mode. And as you can see now when we drag another piece is at the center, so it's saved. Then let's go ahead and change the world, you know, transform into local, so it's easier. And actually we might need to do a little adjustment also with a pivot as you can see it's not really aiming forward so once again we need to go to the modeling tab go to the edit pivot here and you know if we do this it will not really do anything so we simply just need to get this and rotate it so it's perfectly aligned you know and then accept and that's it now we're good to go so after some modifications we are now able to go ahead and place this over here so let's go ahead and change this to be a bit more aligned. There we go. And then I'm going to just put this more to the ground. So around, you know, just here, let's say. I think it's a good height. And then as you can see, if I press play, I can step onto the road. So this road is a pretty decent size. But of course, we want to do like a whole avenue. So the easiest thing to do is to make like a small let's say vertical slice where we have the highway done in a very short length so then it's easy to duplicate and extend to the whole you know kind of city right so let's simply go ahead and also start to add the sidewalk you know so for our sidewalk it's going to be very similar basically hold alt and drag and now we have another road so we'll simply go ahead and change the lock here to be like 1.3 and basically or even 1.5 i think and we are you know gonna essentially just make it a bit higher right something like this is good okay so then if i press play as you can see there's a high difference 
for the sidewalk and the road I think is perfect so then we are also gonna go ahead and change the material so in this case we do have a lot of like concrete that we can get so let's just select the first one and boom the first one looks pretty decent so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one right but of course you can play around if you want another one and then I'm gonna simply just um, open up the grid and you simply gonna move this here pull this like here and now we have like a double you know road so it's bigger and more like an avenue then I'm gonna duplicate this once again and this is gonna be essentially you know the other sidewalk and I want once again to emphasize this the avenue is gonna be very really big so I can uh, go ahead duplicate this one more time okay and then the sidewalk one last time here okay and essentially we are gonna have this massive light highway so with that done you know if we go ahead and select everything and use you know extend this would of course stretch the texture which is a thing that you know I don't want to have I want to have it you know pretty neat so we could do some modifications in the material itself but I believe it's a better way to simply just go ahead and start to you know duplicate it uh, in packs right so there's a couple things that we could do with all of them selected we can just right click and go to the group you know section and now it's easy to duplicate so I can go ahead and press out and duplicate and as you can see it kind of moved diagonally that's just because of the pivot again it's causing issues so let's change the wall space and now as you can see we don't have an issue okay so if you have issues with the pivot you change it to a wall space now as you can see it did add a little offset just because it's not exact so you simply move it a bit and there we go we have two groups which are perfectly aligned so let's go ahead and select these two groups and duplicate one more time put it here and then simply make sure to align it right so go ahead here boom it has to be like you know a rough um, estimation right it doesn't have to be exact and then with all the selected we go ahead and duplicate one more time and each time the process is faster right as you know there's some bigger groups right to to work with um so again a line kind of here and boom we are having a big big avenue as you can see so let's do the same uh over here one more time so duplicate there we go and i think this will be the final one yes so let's go ahead and put this like here oh there we go make sure to select everything and then yeah that's perfect i'm gonna go to the end and delete like you know this block and you know let's leave that one and there we go we have our cool little thing over here so now it is time to make this um kind of sidewalk a bit bigger let's say you know so we can then also put the buildings a bit closer they're gonna be like 50 50s really so what we can do is simply go ahead and you know ungroup this over here and simply duplicate this one right as you can see this texture will weld, uh it will work in world space so we can simply just go ahead and extend this and make it bigger okay so what i like to do is to have this unlocked and then you change one piece over here and like this one let's say right so then we can start to just make this real big you know and and that's it make sure to align this correctly and slowly just you know kind of pull this maybe it's easier sometimes to work with unlit right because in this case we have a night scene of course you can make it daytime if it's also easier but usually unlit will save us a day in a lot of cases let's go ahead and uh, use control alt duplicate this and there we go you know it has to be like rough it doesn't need to be exact because the player at this height will not really notice this and as you can see now we have a whole avenue you know with um roads and sidewalks and everything is perfect and it starts to look more like a city so last but not least we just need to make sure that the buildings are kind of stepping over the sidewalk so it looks more realistic of course and everything is just perfect and on top of that i'm gonna literally just select uh the you know concrete and drag it into the rest of the plane or the landscape really 
simply because on that skin material uh, simply because you know I can easily align it now there's gonna be a high difference but that's okay I mean roads in real life have constant height differences so it's gonna be good and there we go so we simply need to go ahead and make sure that the buildings are gonna be closer to the actual you know sidewalk and yeah, that's way better maybe even a bit more I would say um, sidewalk and also the road itself so I would say like this is pretty good so I'm gonna say please make sure that all the buildings have pretty much the same amount of distance you know and then this one I'm gonna leave it for now right and then we need to do exactly the same but of course with the ones here in the back and so on so really honestly this building we can delete it not gonna lie right and we're gonna use Make sure that this one will be kind of more over in this place, right? And then also we can start to modify this ones. So for example, all this block of buildings, we can move it to be more like here. Make sure that I probably will have a turn here, so we can use gonna make this here, I would say. And then we can get this one and move it like here. And then get this one and move it here, and then they can interpolate because you know the user, uh, yeah, the player will not really know it's, it's the same building, you know, that's perfect. Look, <laughs> little perfect, um, joint. And there we go, as you can see, we are having a way better kind of street now with uh, all these things. Now, some extra stuff that we can add is some like balls, some lighting, but you know, we still don't have them. So we will begin to add them on the next episode when we add like decorations for our road and so on. Uh, I'm gonna also just make sure this is a bit bigger. There we go. So you know the kind of streets in between are a bit like you know less less of a big difference, you know. And then really what you can do in here is simply start to play around and duplicate, you know. Um, with this, uh, we can just make sure that this will not reach the end, right? The sidewalk. There we go. So we're like here, I would say. You know, kind of like this. Um, and then, you know, you can get this part over here and then put it here. And, you know, start to right click. We can just simply ungroup it and then expand this join it and simply kind of you know make some turns over here now we don't have exact corners in this uh, little model that we imported but it's fine you know i think that this will work and we can simply go ahead to get this bit more and the same with this just put it here and you know slowly you get a gap here and there we go and then this ones we can simply um, make sure to ungroup it delete this one and then you know make sure to get this here and put like this one once again right and there we go we slowly continue the road we can even like you know duplicate this one and put this and there you go i mean honestly we've made this real quick so you can spend more time to fine tune it but you get the idea right we are building kind of little roads over here um so yes yeah, it's, it's perfect and this one so you can place it or not whatever you really want you know you can use like, like this for decorations but yeah so overall as you can see we have a nice street once we add some lamps and you know some benches and so on it'll start to look like 10 times better without exaggerating you know from the ground it looks really cool so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel you, we only have the profiles on patreon and youtube members so check it out through the link in the description and now yes with us said bye bye